Don't tell me you've never wondered how they pooed on Apollo. So in the early days of the Apollo era, when missions were like a day long or less, astronauts were given a low residue diet and generally able to just not go until they got back to a flushable toilet. But during the Gemini program, missions were starting to get longer, up to two weeks, they were gonna have to go. And the very ingenious solution NASA came up with was a plastic bag. Once they had to use the facilities, astronauts typically stripped down naked just to avoid getting anything into fabric, would affix the sticky bit of the bag to their naked buttocks, and go. But here's where we get our first problem. There is no gravity to separate the fecal matter from the buttocks. So NASA included a handy little finger tube that they could stick their finger into and physically separate the matter from themselves. Once they were done, they used basically a wet nap to clean up, throw that wet wipe, and a special bag of crystals into the poop bag. And squish it all together like one of those ice packs so that those crystals would activate and kill all bacteria. Then they would pack it up and store it because there was no way to jettison solid waste. In the 1970s, Jim Lovell, who was on the two-week-long Gemini 7 mission, told the story that Frank Borman held off for about five days having to use the facilities, then grudgingly had to do it. Lovell said he turned around and looked out the window and tried to give Borman as much privacy as possible, but the spacecraft was about the size of the front seat of a car, so not much. In that same interview, Gene Cernan did admit that on Apollo 17, he used an oxygen mask to escape the smell of pooping on Apollo. Space isn't always glamorous. 